All right, Christian Coleman coming off 60 meter win. This is your opener for 2023, right? Uh, or well, in terms of well, third race actually. Yeah, race. yeah, yeah. What's it? What's it feeling like coming off the win? Um, I feel pretty good. I feel pretty good. Like it was a, I feel like a, a highly anticipated race. You know, a, a lot of hype. Um, you know, being in New York in, indoors, it don't really get any bigger than the Melrose games. Um, so I was pretty excited about it. Just had to try to control what I can control. You know, just stay composed and um, kind of do do what I do best. And I was I was happy to come out with a victory. So. How do you stay composed with all that pressure of the hype between you know you versus Noah Lyles and you know, all that? How do you stay composed in that? Uh, man, you just try to just be a professional, man. You know, another day at the office. Um, you know, just focus on like you know, your race pattern, your race plan. Um, it's cliche, but you know, just stay in between your lines um, and just try to get to the to get to the line first, but but execute it well. Um, and so. Can you, yeah. can you walk me through the celebration? I saw the sh and then I saw a shimmy. Can you walk me through that, that celebration? Yeah. I don't know what the shimmy you're talking about. Oh, okay. but uh, I saw a bell. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, I don't know. You know, this is what this is what I do. And um, it's just you know, like I said before, like it's just been a lot of um, a lot of talk, and a lot of chatter coming into this race, and I love it. I love it. You know what I'm saying? I, I embrace it, and um, you know, I was just happy to come out with the win. Yeah, I mean, Noah obviously was talking a little bit on the three point last week. Like, what did you think when you saw that race and he beat Trayvon? Uh, I mean, I knew I was gonna have to bring my A game to be able to come out with the win. Um, you know, Noah is a great competitor. Um, you know, his top end speed is incredible. Um, and so I knew I would have to build my A game and, and stay composed and um, just really focus on my race pattern and try to get to the line first. Um, <clears throat> and um, you know, he's been. Working and steadily getting better at the 60 every year, um, you know, in his shows. So I was excited coming into this race. Um, I think he got what he wanted. He, he said he wanted to, you know, go up against the best, and um, he got that. What do you What do you think when you see Trayvon running 6.42? Right, He's, you know, everyone's kind of clicking off these fast times. What goes through your mind when you see these times? Uh, man, I mean, that just goes to show um, the level of you know athletes that we have here in the U.S. Um, you know, sprint-wise, and um, you know the level of competitiveness that we have, and um, I'm super excited to just just be a part of the, um, a great field and be a part of you know history right now. You know, there's a lot of great sprinters in the U.S. Are you uh, are you planning to run USA's next week? Uh, I'm not sure. Like, I haven't even like spoken to my my coach yet. Um, and so we'll see. Um, and um, put together a good good plan what we feel like will be best for me if I go or don't go but the whole goal is to try to be at my best in June and July um, and so we'll take that into consideration and make a call on it so how do, you, how do you feel right now compared to where you're at maybe in 2019 before the, the suspension? Uh, I mean, I feel really good. I mean, I just try not to think too much about, um, you know, the past. Just focus on getting better day-to-day -day, um, and just continue to build momentum. What was the, I guess, what was the biggest challenge getting back into sprinting last season, coming back and competing again? Uh, man, I mean, I feel like just mentally, like just staying, staying composed, and um, just executing these race. And as you go week by week, does that build your motivation as you continue through indoors and then of course leading into outdoors? Um, yeah, I feel like this whole this whole indoor season, I feel like that was the whole point of it, just to get the wheels turning, compete at a high level, um, and try to use that as a springboard to take it in out. Congratulations.